Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is so exciting because I'm here with an update after our first week of construction on our big home renovation project. Now this project is going to take about six months. So one week is only a very small piece of this project. However, it is crazy how much progress was made in just one week. So to give you a high level overview of what we're doing, we currently have an attic upstairs, which is truly an unfinished attic with no windows, very hot, not usable space except for storage. And so we are turning that attic space into livable bedrooms and bathrooms up there. So when it's all said and done, it's going to be four bedrooms and then two Jack and Jill bathrooms in the upstairs area. And then also we are going to open up some of the walls on our main level to add some light and make our main level layout just make a little bit more sense. So I took some before and after videos and I can't wait for you to see the transformation after just one week. Here you go. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough tour to try to give you an idea of exactly how everything looks the day before anything starts. So here you have the dining room over there. And then when you walk in the house, you have this little area where we have these little couches. And then over here is a wall. So the stairs are actually back behind that wall right now. You just can't see them at all. So as you can see right now, our house kind of has a weird like hallway situation going on. So this is what we're trying to make a little better, make more sense. And then over here we have my desk and where I typically work every day. Then that's obviously the door out to the deck. And then this is just a little corner. So right here, this is where you will come out of the stairs when it's all said and done. Then if you look over here, that's our little breakfast nook area with a little table. And then over there is our kitchen and they're not really doing a ton in that area. Um, and then over here is our living room. And then you can see the TV is over there. Now I'm going to take you upstairs where the majority of the work is going to be happening. So as I mentioned before, right now, there are stairs back behind that wall. However, if you want to get to them, you have to go in here through the master bedroom. And then there's a little doorway. So what we're doing is we're gonna close this doorway in the master bedroom and open that side so that it opens up into the main part of the house. So here's the stairs. Um, you can go up here. And all this is right now is just a little loft area. So we spent a lot of time up here this weekend getting everything out so that they can start working up here. Uh, but you can see right now, it's a pretty small little room. No real windows, just a couple skylights up here. So I'm excited to see how this looks when they're all done. And then if you come in here, this is the actual attic. So as you can see, it's a pretty standard unfinished attic at this point with not a lot going on. It does have very tall ceilings though, um, for reference. Okay, and here's how it looks after one week of construction. The first week of construction is done, and as you can tell, our house looks like a total construction zone at this point. So that's the dining room. You can see here that we just stuffed a whole bunch of furniture in here to keep it out of all of the construction dust. So they put up these plastic shields uh, and you can zip them shut. We have them open because it gets really hot in there and they started to expand. So we just open them up to let the air in, but when they're working, those are obviously sealed up so that none of our stuff gets all of the dust all over it. But as you can tell, they accomplished a lot in just a couple days. So you can see here, they took the drywall off the first part, but that's ultimately going to be opened up all the way over there, but it's already looking so much different 
with just the progress that's been made. And then over here, you can see they took all this drywall off and brought these walls down to the studs. So this part of the project right here has been a bit of a challenge this week. We had to pivot a little bit from what we originally were planning on doing. We wanted all of this to just come out and be totally open. But after some consultations with the engineer, after he was able to actually see what was behind these walls, it was determined that that really wasn't feasible given all of the weight we're adding upstairs uh, with the attic renovation as well. So this is going to be much more open than it was. Um, it's going to be like a header wall with a couple uh, posts coming down. So I'm excited to see how it looks and I'm excited that we're gonna be able to have it more open than it was. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I would have loved for it to be totally open, but I also don't want the house to fall down. So we'll see how it goes. And then you can see here, all the kitchen is also behind the plastic. So our entire kitchen area is pretty much still totally usable, which is so nice and much better than I was expecting it to be. It's kind of messy, but you can just see all of that back there. And then we were able to kind of reconfigure our living room a little bit for the time being. Um, that's my husband sleeping, so ignore that. But we're kind of loving our little couch bed situation, and we kind of don't want to put it back to how it's supposed to go. <laughs> so we may be looking at a new permanent uh, couch configuration here in our living room. <laughs> uh, but then we can go upstairs and as you can see here we can go this way <laughs> so they opened up the bottom of the stairs so we can already see what this is going to look like a little bit uh, but this wall over here will also come out eventually as well and then just a quick peek this is our bedroom so you can see that's all behind the plastic as well and really not impacted by the construction, which again is so nice and so much better than I thought it was going to be. So if we go up the stairs, the carpet is still on the actual stairs, but when we get up here, you can see there is no more carpet. So it's even more empty and echoey up here now. Um, but yeah, super excited for the real transformation to start here. Taking a quick peek into the attic, you can see here, they removed all of the floor. They removed all of the insulation that was under there. And pretty much brought this down to the skeleton of the house. So one thing, removing this insulation did uh, keep warm the house up a little bit, but so far it hasn't been horrible. For reference, it's the end of July and we live in North Carolina, so it is very warm here this time of year, um, but our house has really only gone up maybe two or three degrees, which isn't horrible. And so far, you know, it hasn't been really uncomfortable or anything like that. So I was really worried about um, obviously how uh, this was gonna impact just the comfort of the house. Crazy, right? After just one week, how much has already started to change? This is our first time doing any kind of big construction project or renovation or anything like that. So if you've ever done one in your house, do you have any tips or lessons learned for me before we really get into the project? If so, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you like this kind of content and you like the renovation, the before and after, all of that, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I want to take you guys through this whole process because I'm sure it will be a roller coaster of six months and I cannot wait to see how it all turns out at the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.